An easy pass is not going so easy on the drivers who received bills while toll booths were closed this spring due to the pandemic. Eyewitness News has learned that dozens of people received statements claiming that they owe hundreds of dollars for tolls and for tacked on fees. Alexandria Hoff has the story. From late March to mid-May, New Jersey and Pennsylvania connecting bridges, New Jersey Turnpike and Parkway, they all went cashless. Those without an easy pass were simply told to expect a bill in the mail. But for some, what they received was not at all what they expected. Lindsay Weiner doesn't have easy pass, but has never minded handing over a crisp Abe Lincoln when crossing the Ben Franklin. They told us, you know, that they were canceling cash options. We were like, great, we'll just get a bill, no problem. When COVID-19 restrictions sent toll booth workers home temporarily, Lindsay crossed the bridge 25 times, racking up a bill that at $5 a trip should have been $125. They were asking us to pay $750. $750. dollars $5 for each of the 25 tolls, plus a $25 administration fee for each of the 25 trips. I'm hoping it's just a glitch, but I just know that a lot of other people are going through the same thing. We have heard from almost a dozen others who have received New Jersey Easy Pass bills that were either already passed due upon receipt or were tacked with an additional administrative fee. Check out this one, a $50 admin fee added to a 40 cent toll bill. I got some legal notices saying that if I don't pay them in 10 days, there'll be legal action. For Lindsay, she says she received almost all of her bills within days of them reaching delinquency and simply could not get in touch with anyone from Easy Pass, New Jersey. No one is available right now. We tried the customer service number provided repeatedly as well at different times on different days and never reached a live operator. The media contact with the New Jersey Turnpike Authority, the lead agency handling Easy Pass in the state, did not return my email or calls either. It's kind of ridiculous. For now, the Delaware River Port Authority, which acknowledged a billing backlog during the COVID shutdown, has invited anyone who received a bill on their letterhead to contact the DRPA with questions. According to the Pennsylvania Turnpike Authority, their customer service team has received an influx of callers who cannot get in touch with the New Jersey Turnpike Authority about their toll by mail violations. Alexandria Hoff, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.